It's Power 106, where hip hop lives. Yes, C. Ortiz, uh, hanging out in the studio with me. I'm so excited to have you. Milan Christopher is here. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing out there? Hey, hey. <laughs> um, I'm glad you came by, man. Thanks for coming through. I'm glad I came by, too. I've been waiting to come meet you. You're so pretty. Oh, th aw, <laughs> thanks. Now I know y'all can't see her, but she's so fine. Like. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. I was thinking the same thing when I when I was like, Milan coming through? Have you seen him half naked? Hey. Not only is he got the face, but he got a body. Uh oh, you know I try to hit the gym sometimes. And but like, he, he, there's no way that we would work. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way that we would work. But we could get. No, we could be friends. Real we could be friends. friends. Pretty yeah. people hang out with pretty people, from exactly. what I heard. Exactly. I mean, shoot, all my friends are beautiful. But <laughs> uh, man, thank you for coming through. And your 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 style was the first thing that I noticed. I was like, okay, are we adding stylists to your roster? Yeah, too? let me um style. You know, no, no, no. You know, I just got a swag, but I got a stylist. His name is Luxury Law. He's pretty dope. So, okay. Yeah. yeah I was, he keep me faded. We was, we was talking about your fashion in the sack in the green room, and um, all right. So we've got you're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. All right. You are a musician. Yep. You are an actor, um, a reality star. I guess we could say now. Yeah. A model. Yeah. You know, uh, born and raised in Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. Shout out to the South Side of Chicago. So, at what age did you move out here to L.A.? I've been here for eight years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've been here since 2008. All right. How you yeah. liking it? I like L.A. Yeah. I love L.A. I love the weather. I love the um, the scenery. I love yeah. the fact that this is where you have to be if you want to make it in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Like, it's no way around it. So, Well, you, you're you a musician. We're going to talk about love and hip-hop and everything, but you were, you're you a musician first. Right. Yeah? So you, you were doing music for a long time. Absolutely. I've been in, like, Chicago Children's Choir back at home. Um, and dance groups called UFIU was acting and doing all of, all of that back in Chicago. Yeah. But I felt like you could only go so far in Chicago. So yeah. I had to move to where everybody goes which in order to I... conquer their dreams, which either, which either was going to be here or New York. Yeah. Um, but I was like, well, I don't want to be a Broadway actor. Yeah. So let me move to L.A. That way I can do my music. I can act. I can do everything out here. Yeah. So. Out here, everybody wants a piece of everything. Yeah. You know, hence love and hip hop Hollywood. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who, how did you get that call? Was it somebody that you already knew that was already on the show? Well, I know you and Hazel are friends. Well, I, I, it initially started with uh, Carlos King, who is the or used to be the producer of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And he knew me and knew all the stuff that I was doing and was like, oh, my God, this is the perfect time to have like a gay uh, guy on Love and Hip Hop. And he he first initiated everything, um, and uh, and then I started telling Hazel about it, um, and then she kind of put the extra little additives on it to make sure all the, the pieces connected. So yeah, I had her in. Uh, we did an interview with her like a couple weeks ago, and she said she was a, she was the one that was pretty much the ones that put the cast for season one and for season two. I think that was you gave me a, a blank stare. Yeah, you know. Um, What's that face about? You know, I can't really gauge people anymore. Like, I'm I'm not from here, so I don't really, I can't gauge L.A. people anymore. Mm -hmm. And Hazel's one of those people that, you know, since the show has aired and things have happened in her life and in my life, um, she's a little different. So I can't really even confirm or deny anything that she says at this point. So it's like, if that's what she said, I mean. Then hey, that's what she says. Yeah. Okay. Wait, but so we're talking about that on a business business perspective but i think feel like there's like a human like there's a personal story behind there well only thing right now for me is that um you know she knowing all of the things that are is going on with me and the person i'm in a relationship with she's been hanging out with them taking pictures your ex are we talking about My your ex, ex miles um yeah and um but you, you know, didn't just, even want to say his name <laughs> she's like yeah that guy is doing all type of stuff that i feel like you know as a person who um is my friend first um, before anything, you know, you should respect that and not, I feel like you're picking sides. There's like a loyalty factor. There's a loyalty too. factor. And there's also just a so level she met of miles through you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a level of, um, of, um, fakeness to it as well. You know what I mean? I think one of the things that she was upset about is that I didn't engage in an altercation with, um, her the guy who threw the drink in her face jason lee oh um but i'm just not into that i'm not into all of that energy like i'm not are into you and jason friends we're not friends oh we're, okay we're cool we're cordial um and if she took that as an insult well i'm not really sure how she took it yeah because she never um communicated it to me um but at the same time you know we're all on a show together so if right. i'm out and you know he's at the same place of course people are going to take pictures of us together i don't have any photos of me on of him on my 
Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any of those things. You know, it's just one of those things. We're all in a, a business together right now. So it's so much more. It wasn't so much of her hanging out with him. It was just more of her like taking a photo with Miles and posting it on the gram. It's more than that. It's 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 more than that. You know, things I've heard her say things. I've heard I've seen her do things. Yeah. I've just seen her movements are a little different than what I expected from anyone I call a friend, a Hollywood friend or whatever she associate anything. I'm just not like that. If I'm if I mess with you, yeah. if I'm cool with you, we cool and I'm and I respect you. And it's just certain things that she does that I've seen her do to other people that she's now doing to me that is like, okay, you've crossed the line so i wonder what her motives were to hang out with miles in the I, beginning i think like i said it was it was more so probably to get at me to make me feel this type of way to be spiteful um but i'm not that type of person i don't do spiteful malicious things mm -hmm. to people you know what i mean if i have a problem with you i'm gonna communicate communicate it with you immediately yeah. like yo i don't appreciate X, Y, and Z, as my brother, as my friend, as my sister, or whatever the case may be. And I feel like you've been portrayed in that light yeah. on the show so far from what I've seen. Yeah, definitely. I mean, are you happy with the way you've been portrayed? In um, I'm definitely happy with the way I've been portrayed. I think it, it the way the show is airing, it looks like that I was kind of like rushing or pushing Miles to do something for me, mm. like coming out and doing these things. But right. Really, you you got they missed the fact that I was in a relationship with this person for over two years, and so I was kind of like at my wits end with the relationship. Like, yo, I'm not nobody's uh, closet freak or bedroom buddy. Mm -hmm. Like, if we're going to be in a relationship, we're going to be full throttle with it, or we don't we we don't have to continue this. Like, I want to be married. I want to have children. I want to move forward with my life. I want to grow as a person, and I want to do it with you. But if you're not ready to do that, then I can move on. And but in the, on the show, it looks like he's doing all of this just to please me when he's really should be, should have been doing it to please himself, to be who he was and stop living lies. Yeah. Um, and I can go even further. So let's that. let's go it's on like, a timeline. Let's go on a timeline, a chronic a chronological <laughs> timeline here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you and Miles were dating for two years. And then at some point in that relationship, you know, it was always in the closet, so to say, right? It was hidden. It was, or was an open relationship where everyone knew that you guys were together. No, um, we were. They, they, everybody thought we were friends. Okay. Um, but no one knew that you guys had we're a, in a relationship, an intimate relationship. No, and um, and you know that was the thing where I would see him with his homegirl, um, Amber. Amber. Uh -huh. Um, and he used to tell me that they were just friends and they were just best friends. And you know, when I watched the show, it became something totally different like my ex-girlfriend uh, and then now he she's your his ex and it's just like what and it just it just grew into something that was just kind of like so a fallacy he was always telling you that was a friend but then on the show it was like that's my ex-girlfriend and who's now my best friend yeah so and that's what i'm saying like is there truth to the fact that they dated from my from my understanding it was all a lie oh. and so you know and it's cool like if that's the story that you want to go and portray to the world and be recognized as, you know, then go right ahead. But from my understanding, from everyone who knows you before I moved here, Amber knew you were gay. Your m mother knew you were gay. Your sisters knew you were gay. It was all just, you know, mm -hmm. him doing what he needed to do to create some type a of storyline, a story for himself. Did producers hit you and then you brought him in or was it together? It was it was me. Mm -hmm. And because they were interested in who you were, I was who I was, but who I also it's love and hip hop. So right. who is your love interest? And at the time, that's who I was dealing with. So I brought him in and then they separated us and he came back with um, his story with line. his storyline with Amber because they interview us separately yes and then he that interview process is yeah you've been on the show so you know the interview process As, is different yeah, yeah it's so. not like you're applicate you're filling out an application and, <laughs> and so yeah so you to, know who's all filling it out right and to that effect I didn't know what he had going on mm -hmm. you know when we watch when I watch the show I was getting new information like oh wow is that the story we're telling you know so yeah. it was one of those type of things and um I think what happened was once the the network released who I was in a relationship with um, to the to the public because of course they keep all of this stuff on the low mm -hmm. until they're ready to release it because a lot of people drop off they fire people people quit um, and that's when I started getting all of this information about who he really was and at that time and at that moment maybe for like two or three months I fought with it to digest if if it was true because i'm sure he was getting just as much information about me that was fake and yeah um so you have to sift through the shit the stuff that's real right and um and then when i finally started getting real evidence and real 
detailed information i was like you know this is not going to work for me right um and i found out he was cheating on me i found out and you found out you he was cheating on you during the filming of the show or during like as you're watching it as well with the audience so what i want people to understand is that the show stopped filming in august okay the show aired on september 7th the Mm -hmm. very first episode right and so i didn't find out this information until like mid-october so we were like probably on like the fifth Four fifth episode of Love and Hip Hop that you found out he was cheating that on he you. was cheating on me and that he was just all of this stuff was just com- completely felonious. Mm-hmm. Um, and so at that point, I started to try to ask myself, like, what is it that I need to do? Because to a lot of people, this story and to myself, this story is bigger than just me and Miles. Because th- there's no one, there has never been a, a, our type, our architect on television, which is. Um, not so flamboyant or eclectic gay guys Mm -hmm. in a relationship Mm -hmm. and especially on a franchise like love and hip-hop where it forces a demographic who normally thinks of homosexuality as a defamation and derogatory Mm -hmm. to be exposed to it and so i had to digest that like do i want to like ruin that for these people and for these kids who are now basically looking up to me because when i was young I had no one to look up to. I damn near wanted to kill myself. I didn't have the, the school, my community, no the churches, support. no support, nowhere. So this was good for those people. But it's at very the, brave. But at the same, yeah, and courageous, you know. And at the same time, I was just like, yo, it's kind of it's a disservice too for him to be doing this because mm. we need to because be authentic. I think, well, I think if you take if you take what he just the lies, mm-hmm. I think just as a human, like anybody who lies and goes to the extent of cheating on another individual and a partnership like that already in itself is enough is enough right. to to have a conversation about exactly you know and bring awareness to um well not awareness but bring light to that to those stories so you can you know figure out whether or not you want to continue to mess with them or not right. you feel me so right. and then and, and then and i didn't mean to cut you off no, and cool. I, I know you were you were speaking on something positive so i'd like for you to continue on that for no, sure but just to piggyback off of what you're saying um you know it's that's one thing to break up with somebody because they're cheated that's enough yeah. to cheat on someone you know you've been lying to me you've said i'm the only one you've ever been with the only person i'm probably going to be your last yeah come to find out you've had several relationships with men um but and here not, you thought you were the only, only one. one and then on top of that i find out from the people that live here that you and amber are not exes so you've been lying about that to make yourself appear to be more masculine and more attractive and more um uh fulfilling and now you're t- saying you're bisexual when you're not you're yeah. gay it's just a lot of stuff to so it so there was a lot going on plus on instagram there was a lot of shots fired back and forth a lot yeah. of exposing i think with other. his i think with 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 me like I was saying, um, it, it was one of those things where I really was fighting myself and did not know how to address the situation because I do appreciate the platform. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Um, and so I was gonna, that was going to be my next question. Do you do you feel like this show has helped you? I, I definitely you? I definitely um, feel like it it has helped me in a sense of relevancy. Okay. Um, and so, like I said, I appreciate the platform, and I didn't want to really destroy that based off of this relationship that was not working out. Um, and for a week, for maybe like a week, two weeks, I was juggling that. Like, what am I going to do? But it was so hurting. It was hurting me, like, on the inside yeah. to watch him make posts on his Instagram and... Um, and do certain stuff that was getting people involved and their hearts involved and seeing people tweet me and Instagram him and crying like, you helped me do this, you helped me do that. It was just one of those things like, yo, you're gonna have to fess up to something. Like you can't sit and- Like you were sitting back thinking, okay, you're why are you lying to these people? people. Is that what was going through your head? Yeah, through my head. And it was hurting me and and, and you were lying to me. So now you're just a complete fake. And then all I did was, which you guys will see the reunion show in a couple of weeks. I broke I broke it off. You know, I I, I just went and said, you know, before I'm, the reunion or a- after the reunion you broke it off. At during the reunion, I basically right before the reunion I had made a post that I had broken we had broken up. Okay. And on as far as the show was concerned on the reunion, I solidified it. Um and then after that, his real true colors came out. <laughs> <laughs> 